All right, welcome everybody to a quick how-to tutorial on using YouTube to grow your business. And we're talking about setting up your YouTube, making it look nice to fit your brand, as well as some of the little key things that we do to uh, make it more efficient to upload videos, make it too, uh, more productive to sharing your videos all over social media, and uh, just some of the other little things that I know some of my clients ask me all the time about YouTube. So I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible, but please uh, ask questions if you want to. I'm going to share my screen now, and uh, thank you for joining us live. All right, so we've got our YouTube, right? Let's, let's pick apart the different things you need to look at when you have a YouTube. You need to have a header banner, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly graphically designed any which way, but it should somewhat match your website to a certain extent, or at least have the same color scheme going. It should have probably your picture in it. Now, unless you're branding some kind of bigger business entity or something or organization, you should have your picture in it. A lot of people, if you're gonna really be active on YouTube, um, say that they're posting videos weekly, new videos posted weekly. So that way your subscribers know to watch for you every week. If they like you, then they'll keep an eye out for it, okay? But don't say that if you're not gonna be consistent. And every once in a while, I, I will lag, I will tell you. Um, but for the most part, now this is, uh, this is a very busy, busy header. I know cause that's just how I roll. Okay. But you don't have to do that, <laughs> that busy of a header. Notice though, I've got me on a microphone speaking like a podcast. I've also got me in the background speaking on stage. It's kind of subliminal advertising that that's really, I'm a speaker. Okay. It's subliminal advertising and that's what it is. There's a little bit of credibility over here with some of the news media logo that I've been on. That's really easy to add, and I think it's great to put that in here. Um, these social links obviously don't go anywhere because this is a graphic, but it is kind of nice that they can find you everywhere. Um, and then, you know, your logo is important, but notice it's not that big, okay? What's big is my picture. I mean, the credibility is almost as big as my logo here. My free gift. When you look at this on a, a, a big computer like this, you can actually see, grab your free biz kit and it takes you to the website and they can see what they're gonna get. You may not be able to do that and that's okay, but at least explain what your channel is for. Videos, speaking and training for entrepreneurs who wanna make a lot more money doing what you love. Very self-explanatory. Please explain what you do in your header so that they don't have to hunt and peck and figure it out, okay? So don't be all cutesy, be direct and straightforward because you have one or two seconds for them to really figure out if that's something for you. Um, and so this graphic here just so happens I, I had it designed on Fiverr. You can get your graphic designer to do it. You can do it on Fiverr. You can get the dimensions and do it yourself on Canva if you want to. That's totally up to you. Um, just try to make it the same color scheme as your website and maybe the same headshot that you're using on your website as well or in your social media profiles. So it's pretty memorable. You might have to change this pretty often too. I'm just gonna let you know, okay? So keep it up to date with, with your graphics. <clears throat> this little thing down here is a link to my website. So it will take you off of uh, YouTube and take you straight over to my website this thing up in the top right hand corner. So make sure when you are editing the back end of your YouTube, you put the URL right here, okay? You don't, uh, so make it very easy to click and it went straight to my homepage, all right? Now, uh, I'll go back, okay. So when you change photos and things like that, a lot of times you can, uh, like say I took a, a picture of me and I wanted to use this one, uh, which I don't. I don't even think I wanna show you that because what it's gonna do is it's gonna mess. But it will tell you right here, recommended channel art size, 2560 by 1440. Maximum file size is six megabytes. So if you get someone to design this, it can't be bigger than six megabytes. It can't even be 6.01 megabyte or it won't work. They're very picky when you upload a picture, okay? And sometimes when you create a graphic, you have to resize and resize. 
The reason I went to Fiverr is because the people over there that say they do YouTube graphics do them every day for a ton of different people and they know the size and it'll always work usually. So it's faster than trying to figure this out myself because I did try to create it myself on Canva and it took me forever and I gave up because I couldn't get the size right no matter what this says. Okay, I'm just telling you that I tried. So it's worth paying 30 bucks to go get something on Fiverr. Uh, so that's how you would upload a photo. Now, if you don't even have a YouTube started, if you just go to, you could just go to your Google Calendar or, and you go to these nine boxes down here, everybody has a YouTube. I should have started there probably. <laughs> everybody has a YouTube here and you have your Gmail. If you're on your Gmail and you're logged into your Gmail account, then your the nine boxes are up here too so you can totally go here and click to your youtube from the gmail from the google calendar if you do it this way then you're going to go to the main uh screen for youtube and these are my subscribe these are the ones i subscribe to i believe so these are the ones that look like uh people i subscribe to that's on uh, all recommendations and don't ask me how they sort this stuff and why they show you what they do just know that your guide is over on the left. So your home base is here, trending, you can go to trending. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. Subscriptions is uh, what I've subscribed to and who's talking on their channel today. Uh, and then my videos. My videos are here. And so it kind of shows all my videos here in order of how I uploaded them. Now this is gonna show, now you can't see all these videos if you went to my channel because a lot of these are unlisted. So that means they're private videos that people can't see unless they have the link. But the ones that don't stay unlisted are all public and on my thing. But this, so when you're logged into your own YouTube, you see all your videos. You can also look into your YouTube video and see them there. Uh, and then I have all my playlists down here as well. So I have all my playlists on the left side and then subscriptions, more from YouTube, etc. So if I go to my, my, your videos right here, that'll take me to my channel and then I can go to customize channel. So when you first land on your YouTube, if you don't have, I'll go back. If you first come over here and you're on home, I'm going to back up a little bit and you go to your videos. Okay. I probably wouldn't go from here to there. I would go up to my picture in the top right hand corner and I would use the drop down and I would go to my channel from here. Okay. So, and you can switch accounts. So if you have two Gmails, you can switch your Gmail accounts and it'll take you to the other YouTube associated with the other Gmail account but you want one account really for your business. There's no reason to have two unless you have two totally different businesses. So here's my channel, right? So I came straight to my channel. Now these are all the ones that uh, everybody can see. So everybody can see these videos. Uh, no, that's not true. Well, yes, it might be. That might be true. So these are, I haven't been able to change this particular playlist name and I don't know why, trust me. I've had it forever, ever since I started uploading. But this is the different playlists I have in order that I put them in. So I put the uploads first, which are my weekly tip series, okay? So how to get more customers, we still need to laugh, it's time to embrace, business basics. So these are my weekly tip videos. Yes. They go into my uploads. Then anything that's an interview, a TV uh, interview or TV video or credibility thing, product promotion even goes in this particular playlist. Um, then I have testimonials. A bunch of testimonial videos are in a whole testimonial playlist. It's good to do that for sure because people, if they want to learn more about you, then they're all in one place. That doesn't mean you can't also share, I could share this testimonial on the weekly playlist. If I wanted to sprinkle them in every once in a while, I can do that, okay? 
Um, and then I have a speaking presentation video. So once you start speaking a lot and you have more videos of you speaking, it's just good to put them all in one place. Okay, so people that are looking to have you as a speaker can find them easily. And then another category that I do is Facebook Lives, chats and rants and things. So there used to be a thing called um, uh, Blab, right? Blab was a software where you could actually do a call with a bunch of people. Um, if I was to do, uh, I did a uh, Meet the Secret Sauce of Downsizing Book Authors, which there's a bunch of you on the call. I put that here, it was a promotion to promote your book launch. Um, so, but these were all Facebook Live videos I did. Notice that a lot of these I actually also repurposed as a weekly video tip. So a lot of the videos, if I'm gonna do a video, I might just go onto Facebook Live these days and do my video tip there and then I'll take it off of Facebook Live and put it onto YouTube as a video that I'm sharing. But you can also do a video on your computer, on Zoom, and then upload it here and or upload it to Facebook. Um, okay, so that's kind of playlists and there are some more playlists, let's see. So there's some hidden playlists too. So I have a lot of hidden playlists. So some people were asking before we started the recording, what do I do with all my programs. So if you're going to have an eight week course and you're going to sell it, you might want to put your, your videos somewhere that they're going to your webinars that you're going to share during that course. Um, you can put them here. You can also put them on Vimeo or Amazon storage or web services, but you've got to store these videos somewhere and then you can link, use the link from YouTube or Vimeo and put them onto your website then just so you know. So like here is uh, a page on my website for my international speaker network. And this is where we put the monthly videos. So this video here is happen. It was uploaded to YouTube, but then I put the link in the back end of my page so that it's linked here. Okay. So it can play right on the page. So you can put your own videos on the page. You don't upload them to your website though. You upload them to YouTube or Vimeo or Amazon and then take the link and put that on the back end of the page. Does that make sense? So that's what you would do with those. Um, notice that this area right here. So this is usually the, um, this is usually the, how it looks when you come to my site fresh, like if you're a first time visitor to my website. The reason is, the reason I have this video here is it's a very good credibility video. It shares a little, a few little tips, but it also shows me being interviewed on TV. So it's a very good, it shows me as the expert, it positions me well, and, um, and it's just a good one to have right off the bat, okay? If you don't have something like that, then I would recommend creating a video that can kind of describe what you plan to do on your YouTube in this main video area. So like, and then keep in mind that this description here, this is all that shows uh, when people come to this. So I do not want to say first, uh, this is an interview on channel 10 on the Sacramento company show where I shared blah, 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 blah. Notice that I put the call to action first before the blah, 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 okay? Because that's what's gonna show up right here. So I want them going to my website to getting free trainings and I want them to subscribe to the channel with the, oh, it's, it's still red, yes. Subscribe to this channel. So that's what I want them to do first and then I have this other little blurb in here, okay? So be careful with this, this first video for sure or the one that you're gonna feature and make sure that it uh, has these kinds of things in the beginning of the description, please. Very important. And then, so I've organized them in this order, the ones that I just went through, because those are the ones I want people to see on a regular basis, the playlists, okay? And then if you go to all playlists, this is only I can see this. You can click here, but you'll probably only see You'll see how-to videos, you'll see the business tips. Now these are all the same kind of tips. Um, 
you'll see the ones that I created motivational, inspirational videos, the ones you can create playlists of things that you're saving. So if you want to save a bunch of inspirational videos, then create a playlist for that and put them there. Don't just put them in your regular feed of videos because the feed of videos should be about your stuff. Okay. Um, but the speaker, uh, the speaker network webinars that I just showed you here, those are all on this playlist here. But most people can't see any of those videos because they're, you have to be a member to see those. So you won't be able to see that. But just know that you're gonna wanna, just think about sorting, sorting. And so I have a bunch of my Live Big Mastermind clients on the line. All of their videos are right here, but nobody can see them, not even them, unless they had the actual link. So they usually watch them on their web page that I have them listed on. Yes, question. What are those numbers? 31, 73? That's how many videos are in each playlist. Wow, okay. Yeah. I Darn, know. that's many videos. Yeah, and so you can sort here, date created, last video added. Um, you can customize your channel a little bit more, which means um, you can create a new playlist. Yes, great. I put a question in the chat. I can't see the chat when I'm doing this. Can you ask it? Uh, sure. Um, we have videos made uh, for our secret sauce of downsizing, like promotional okay. videos. Would that be a video that could go in that main video section or what kind of a video if we don't have like a news reporter interviewing us but just different interviews or right. how long should it be um <clears throat> well what to do on the videos is a whole different call <laughs> right now um but if so you're gonna have each author you have six authors in the book so each author is gonna have their own channel you're not gonna have a secret sauce of downsizing channel. Okay, I would not do that. So <clears throat> as the author, I would put a promotional video probably in my regular uploads. Okay, so let me go back to actually my channel. I'm in a different look right here. If I was going to be promoting my book or a program, I would put them into my regular playlist. So like my weekly video series, but I would house it. I would make it a tip like, Hey, I'm, I'm, we're doing this program and I wrote this chapter and here's some tips that I gave on downsizing. And you really want to get the book. Of course, but if you want to take the program, here's what you want to do. Um, where you write all the information is in the editing area. So this is the, the latest video I just did. And down here is where the editing is. So that's where the description goes, okay? So this is where you're gonna put URLs to link to programs. You're gonna have the call to action here. You want a good description here. You want these to be really heavy keyword rich. I can edit any video still after it's, from, after it's uploaded in the editor studio. So here's your editor studio. Once it's edited, this is also what it looks like when you're in the editing process. Um, and you put a long description in here, you got a title, a description, and then you decide if it's going to be public, unlisted, or private, right? So if it's a promotion or a tip, you want to make it public because you want people to see it. If you so don't people want... would be able to see that if it was yeah. public. Yeah. Oh, anybody can see it that's subscribed or, or go to your channel can see it if it's public. If you don't want anybody to see it, you only want certain people or you want to put it on a web page um, or you want to give the link to somebody to view, but you don't want the public to see it, you put it as unlisted. And there's really no reason to make any video private. Don't make any video private. That's like if you, that's just, like, cause you can't share a private video and have people see it. If, if you guys, if you made a video private and you gave me the link, I still wouldn't be able to look at it, even if I had the link. Okay. That's, that's when you need to unlisted. So unlisted is important. Now you can, I'll show you how to upload something in a second. So this is not where to talk about uploading. This is editing. Yeah, Michelle. 
Can you switch between unlisted and like if you made it private, can you then go back to unlisted yes. or can you not anytime. change it? Yeah, you can change it anytime. Okay, thank you. Um, this is where we're talking about thumbnails where before we started, like I could, if I like that picture, I could use that picture. Sometimes it picks the picture for you. If I hate that one, I'm like, oh, I don't want that picture. I don't want that one either. And I don't want this one either. I really recommend you create a thumbnail, which is like a graphic uh, for your YouTube so that your YouTube channel uh, looks more fun and inviting, right? It needs to be fun and inviting and you don't just want all your videos to look the same. Like these here kind of all look the same, blah, 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 right? But when you see all these different little things and you could tell exactly that that's the topic of the video, then I know I want to listen. Oh, love and self-love. I want to listen to that one, right? Uh, it's time to embrace virtual networking. Hell no, I'm not listening to that one. I don't want to do Zoom. So, you know, you can pick and choose which ones if you have a good thumbnail. Now, I just created these in Word. You can create them in Canva. It's a simple little, uh, I took the image so I took this image, so it created an image for me when I uploaded the video, and there's the image. It's not very good, but I just created, I just did a little snapshot of it, stuck it over in the document, put the, the box on it and the words, and changed the colors. It's that simple, and we're not here to teach how to do that right now. So um, I just want you to make you aware that there is a a thumbnail here that I recommend you use and figure out what you want your graphic to look like. And there's a lot of different, you can look at a lot of different of the really popular YouTube people and look at their graphics and see which ones you like and don't like, right? And then decide for yourself what you want it to look like. I really don't care. This was fast and easy for me to create. And I purposely don't have the same colors. In fact, okay, so like my, if I had this in my Thing, I would say, oh, let's do green next because I haven't had green for a while. So I want lots of colors on mine. That's how I choose to have it. But some of you just want to do branding and you have a two or three color max, then just do all of them two, three colors. That's fine. Okay. Um, but this is where you're going to choose your tags. They're like keywords. So if I'm talking about business basics here, um, I've got starting a business, small business training, business plan, business tips, entrepreneur training, small business startup, jumpstart your business, marketing tips, right? So I've got a lot of the basics. I also have my name and my name goes on every one of them and my jumpstart your marketing because that's my website is on every single one of them. And then it used to be a trend to, um, and I know I can't show you much bigger than this. Let's see if I can. I can't show you any bigger, not quickly at least. It used to be a trend that, you know how when you're on YouTube and you go to a video, oops, up there. You go to a video and there's a whole bunch of videos down the side, right? Well, it used to be that if you stuck a certain word in your keywords in the back end, then a bunch more of your videos would show up on the right side, more so than other people's videos. And it could be true, because look how many of my videos are over here. It's not, as, it's not as good as it used to be. It used to be, that it used to really work. And like all the videos on the side would be my videos. And the, the reason you want that is because, um, because then if they're watching one and they like it, they'll click over here to another one and watch another one. Oh, how to master multitasking. Okay, let's go watch that one. Okay, oh, it's trying to embrace virtual networking. Okay, let's go watch that one. If they like you, they're gonna wanna keep going and going and going. So the reason we, so in order to do that, you have to have a makeup word. You have to, you have to make up a word. So just make it up. Like it can be gobbledygook. It doesn't have to be, an actual word. In fact, you don't want it to be a word that somebody else will use. You want to make it up, seriously. And you have to put it in all of your description in order for that to have a better chance at working to where your videos will show up next to your videos more often than not. Okay, so I would still do it. I'd still recommend doing that. Um, even though we don't know it works 100% of the time, but that's okay. Please, whatever you do in your description, uh, 
have some call to actions. Take them to your website. Take them to a call. You don't have to have as much call to action as I do. Um, here's another one too. I probably I'm just picking random ones here. This is one. So at some point, I took a little quick little YouTube course from this gal who's got hundreds of thousands of subscribers, right? And the big thing that she was teaching that I took away was the stuff I'm telling you about keywords and, and how to name your things. Like you don't, you want the how to in here a lot because um, what are people searching for online? Usually on YouTube, they're searching to how to bake bread, how to microwave, I don't know, something, right? <laughs> how to microwave a steak, how to whatever, how to, how to, how to, how to get over grief, how to organize my closet, how to whatever. So really think about that when you're naming your video, okay? And then put those words also in the copy down here. So you wanna do that as well. But what thing that I took away from her is this bottom part. And then, so she does these little equal signs or you can do, um, you can do asterisks. Let's see, where did it go? Oh, I can't because I'm out of characters. But you can do equal signs. You could do asterisks. You have to, to do things to attract attention to certain wording in your description. So if you, um, so equal signs, asterisks, if I wanted to call out this particular thing, we want people to subscribe if they're there. If they're watching, that does not mean they're a subscriber. Someone could have like linked a video to them. So we want to have things stand out. Does that make sense? You want to have some things really stand out in here. So whatever you have to do to make some of the words stand out, you have to use different characters and things like that. <clears throat> okay. Um, so we want, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I copied basically what she was doing in hers and I did this, okay. I, this is what she did in hers. So she did all of this underneath her description of what the video is about. So she did the video, what the video is about, the current video, and then she did all of this and it was always the same. However, notice that this video is about being overwhelmed with to-dos and tips on getting organized, okay? So what she would do is she would have a training that is, is related to this down under here. Now this one happens to be a speaker training. So it would make sense that it would be on something teaching you about speaking video, right? But I just left it because uh, I did on this particular one. But a lot of times I will change the training here. It's just, I don't always have time. So you want to though, because what if they want to get out of organized and you're giving them a bunch of great content up here. And then you have the six steps to learning how to jumpstart yourself uh, getting organized and you have the getting organized program for $27, they can click over here and get it. Or if you have a get organized group on Facebook, they might click over there and join the group. Okay. So you want these kinds of interactive things. You want links to all your other social, because what if they're more a Facebook person, right? They saw one video, but they want to connect with you on Facebook. You want to encourage them to interact. This is really important to put this information in all of your descriptions no matter what your video is, perhaps, okay? Now, if it's a private video, it doesn't matter, but um, if it's a, this one's on my how-to video, okay? Any questions on this? Staple stuff. Okay, now every time I do this, oh, so where you set this up. So you know when you go create, I'm gonna go back to this page. No, nope, I'm gonna go back to my channel. When I wanna talk about adding a new video. Okay, so adding a video is up here, create a video or a post. So upload a video, you can go live here too. I'm not talking about that right at the moment, but upload a video, it opens up a box. And uh, right now, all you have to do is click and go find that video. And like I just did one earlier, uh, sharing with a e-women group that I was in. 
So let's just say I want to upload this video that I just did a little while ago. It's only a few minutes. Notice though that it was like three and a half, let's see. Yeah, three and a half minutes and it's 43 megabytes. Okay, you're not emailing this to anybody. So I'm gonna upload this video. This was already shared over on Facebook earlier, so it doesn't need to be on my, if I wanted to share, it's just an introduction of things that I do. But if I wanted to share this, notice that my description is already pre-populated. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But all of this stuff is already pre-populated in here, so I don't have to think about creating it or go copying it in. So it has my full signature line. It has, for me, I have three things I want you to do as the next step. Do one of these three things today. Become a member in my $7 a month club, or enroll in one of my trainings, or come have a conversation with me in a strategy session. You don't have to have that. You can have one thing. You can say, come talk to me, or I'd rather have you send them to a free gift though on your website. So, but it has all this stuff up above that I'm talking to you, right? So what I would do is if I was doing that, I would just go up here and I would enter some spaces and I would start writing, okay, what do I need to say about this? Um, shared some great business and marketing advice on today's e-women network uh, call with Reno Nevada members and beyond as a business showcase expert listen in and get to know me and subscribe to my channel or email newsletter with the links below, right? Now I don't really care about this particular video, but I'm gonna post it just for fun. So I'll walk you through that. Okay, so then uh, I'm just gonna leave that free training. I'm gonna leave this group and everything else. So here's the link. So if I wanted to Put this on my web page here I would just log into the back end of my website and it would ask me for the YouTube link and I would literally just go and grab this link and I would stick it over there and it would be on a web page that's how simple it is okay so now I'm still uploading it's still uploading this while I'm doing this so here's the thumbnail options right now fuzzy looking to the right fuzzy looking forward and fuzzy, right? They're all fuzzy. <laughs> now I could um, go to my computer. You could, if you don't want it fuzzy, I don't always care, but if it's that bad, I might not take it, right? So you can always go to your computer and I can open up this video. I can actually play it. I should be able to play it right here. Okay, maybe not. But I can open with, uh, hopefully it doesn't take over my computer. Okay, so I can open it here, I can play, and oh, that's a better picture, right? So I can just pause it real quick. I can go take a screenshot of this on my computer, whoop, right? And then stick it in wherever I'm gonna create that thumbnail. Okay, simple, simple. Honestly, don't overthink this stuff, you guys, and don't like contemplate what to look like. Yeah, Grace, you're muted. Um, once you put your description in, uh -huh. can you occasionally update that? You can update it anytime you want. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Try to make it evergreen, though, right? Because you don't like I have thousand some videos in here. To have to go back and change all of them with different calls to action would be a pain in my butt. Although I wish some of them were, I wish we would do some of that because there's a lot of still really good content out there that had a call to action with something that's not even valid anymore. So think about it when you're posting now, right? So I go create an image, let's say, and I upload this uh, thumbnail, but for right now, I'm not gonna make a thumbnail. I'm just gonna go and grab the screenshot that I just did because it was at least better than the other thing all these fuzzy ones. So there's the thumbnail I'm using for this particular one, 
right? And then I can select my playlist. I think for this one, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to put it in, um, uh, I don't know. Let's just say Katrina Sawa interviews for now. Okay. And then it's only going to go there. It's not going to go out to my, uh, I don't think it'll, well, it probably does go out to my regular subscribers, but it'll go under interviews. So it's no big deal. I don't really care. I can go back in here and delete it in five seconds anyways, if I want to. Um, this is new where is it made for kids or no, it's not made for kids. You can toggle back and forth. Um, it, it's, I don't know. Most of my stuff is just automatically, it's not made for kids, but I don't, it, it's fine. Of course it is, right? So just if you are purposely making something for kids, pay attention to that. Um, paid promotion. Can, contains paid promotion like a product placement or endorsement. I guess this is new, so you might need to really pay attention to that. This is where those tags are, okay? So this is not necessarily about starting a business, um, but it's not a training, it's not a training. This is more about me. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, and if you don't have to do anything with this. And so then uh, recording date and location, you can uh, put the date and location, but I never do. I don't know why you would need to do that. Uh, allow embedding. This is if someone else <coughs> takes it and embeds it. Publish a subscription feed and notify subscribers. You know what? I might not do those two for this one, but I never touch these, you guys. It always goes to my subscriptions. Um, but that's interesting because if it's private or unlisted, uh, I doubt if it goes to my subscriptions. I don't know though, now that I think about it. So I'll have to go double check. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't, <laughs> that'd be bad. All right, um, category education. Most of you are gonna be doing education unless you wanna do people or blogs, or if you're gonna talk about travel and events or something different, um, how to style, I suppose, but uh, don't ever think it again. <clears throat> Um, and then I go to next page and here you can, you can add end screens and things like that. I never do. I don't have time for this. You can totally look into this if you want to. It just means there's going to be a call to action on the final screen. Um, I'm a very simple, let's just get it up. Let's get it out. Let's do the next one. Let's get it up, get it out, do the next one. Okay. So here's where you would save, uh, it as public or unlisted or private. Okay, so if you don't want anybody but someone you send the link to to see it, then you put it here. If you want everyone to see your video, you can do it here. And Premiere, I don't even know, it's new. You and your viewers can watch it together at the same time. So maybe you could set it as a Premiere and then you have a watch show or something like that. I'm not gonna mess around with that because that isn't, if you're only doing videos and video marketing, then you might want to look into those things, but it's just one piece of the pie for me. It's just one of the million things that I do. <laughs> so let's just keep it simple. You can schedule your posts. So say you want to upload like four different videos at the same time. You can schedule them out once a week if you want to. You can schedule at different times of day. So that's a really good feature um, so that if you want to block and do a bunch of videos, change your shirt and outfit or whatever, and give a bunch of tips for the whole month and then schedule them all at the same time. So then your YouTube is done for 30 days. Do that. Do whatever is going to be easier to me to get this done. Okay. And then, uh, let's go back to here and I'm just going to do it as I'm plus because I'm not paying attention and I don't want to make any mistakes. So then I would save it and it's going to, it, this one's done, but if it was an hour, it wouldn't be done yet. It would still be processing here. Okay. So it was only like three and a half minutes. So it's already done. So when it's done processing though, look, I can share it everywhere I want. I can share it to uh, uh, Twitter if I want to and say uh, shared uh, on the eWomen network. Uh, Reno called today. Like, I don't really care. I don't even think people watch me on Twitter. So I don't even care if I share this over there, but why not? So, oh good. Can't do it. 
I think my assistant was in my Twitter and changed my password. Okay. But normally you can hook up and log into your Twitter, your LinkedIn, and your Facebook. I do it all the time. So, um, but say you're done with the link or you're done uploading the video. So you're done here. But what I do though, if I'm going to be doing one video a week and uploading it here, um, I'm going to do this with the public one that I just uploaded. So say I just uploaded the public video, then uh, I actually want to go to the video. So I want to go here. So say I just uploaded it. It's all done. It's uploaded. I'm going to go share it really quick. Even if I have an assistant who can share my videos for me and bring people back to my YouTube, they're, no, they're not going to be able to do it for at least 24 hours because I just posted this video, right? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to press the share button down here, right under here under the video. There's a share button and it pulls these up again. So I'm going to go share this and let's share it to LinkedIn. So I'm going to go share these quickly to all my social sites. And share in a post down on the bottom, you say share in a post, and then here it is, here's the video, and then shared some quick tips on how to uh, create more consistent revenue in your business fast. Go watch, right? So, and then if I'm going to share this to more than one outlet, though, I'm going to copy this real quick. <clears throat> You can add hashtags and all that if you want to. You can add a link, but I'm not going to, because um, really, I want to. What I really want to do is just share content right now, and then if people comment on it, I'll go back and and do that. So then I have to go down to the bottom to find the post button. There it is. So then I'm going to post, and that just went to LinkedIn. So then I can go back here, and I can do this, and now I can go. Post it up here. You can tell it where you want it to post. Okay, so I'm going to share it to the page, my business page. So then I'm going to paste in that blurb that I just did, and I'm going to share it to my page real quick. And then what I might do for my profile, if I go into Facebook, is I might go to my page and go share it from the page to the profile or from the page to the group within Facebook. All right, so I just shared it quickly twice. Right now, I can't get to Twitter. I would do it to Twitter too. Um, I shared it quickly twice and then I'm out. And then usually I'm out of there after I do this because then my assistant knows to go in and any new videos to then share content and repurpose. Any questions on that? Or the uploading and the content, what to do. Okay, so I told you I'd share with you how to get this stuff in. So you go to your settings. Okay, so if you go to your settings, this is where you want to set up some of your accounts. Um, your channel, so your basic info. So these are the keywords. These are in every single post that I do, and I can take them out. Um, so this is where you set up the general ones. So every time you upload a video, they're always going to be there. And then it's easier to delete them than it is to add them every time, because you literally have to sit in here and type like how to uh, start up a business, right? And then you have to comment and then you add another one. So this is where you want to put a bunch of them in all at once. Make sure you put your name, please. Your website name, not the .com, but the actual words. Um, and I have a, and any kind of branding or anything that you use, but also, then and, and maybe even geographical things too. So if you're if you're like Northern Cal Northern California professional organizer, you might put that in there. If you're a LA based you know staging company, whatever, then you might put hit that in here because I bet they're searching for that term. Okay, so these are search word search word terms that you're gonna want to type in here. Know that when you upload the video, you can delete them if they don't. So if I upload a video about becoming an author. I'm going to delete the one that says how to build a website, okay, because that doesn't apply to becoming an author. And or I might delete the one about speaking too, or public speaker, okay. But it's easier, like I said, to go and delete them really quick than to go add a bunch of extras. Like, yes, question. I don't see where you have your website. Uh, I have Jumpstart Your Business, Jumpstart Your Marketing, 
I don't don't do the URL here. These are keywords. Okay. Okay. And then advanced settings. Um, you can, if it is made for kids, that kind of thing. I want to review the setting every video. You could do that. Uh, subscriber count. Display the number of people if you want it or not. Um, disable interest-based ads. You could. I don't disable ads because they will show less of my videos out there. Okay, so if when they start putting ads on your video, you know you've made it on YouTube. <laughs> that means you're popular. <laughs> um, branding. Adding a video. Adding a video watermark to your content is a great way to improve brand awareness if you want to. Again, I don't do a lot of this, and this would require another hour or two hour of training. Um, if you wanna take your YouTube to the next level, then you can do intros, outros, end caps on your videos. You can do words over your videos and things like that, but that's a whole different kind of training. This is the basics, okay? This is like, if you don't have anything going, this is where to start. And then you can take it to the next level. But if I started teaching you that, you would just give up because you would not do anything. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't need to worry about any of that. Upload defaults. So here is the description area. So this is the default. So notice the title. I never have a, a, a title default in here because the titles are always different. But this is the description area where I showed you the equal sign and all this stuff. This is all in here already, see, and I can change it anytime. And in fact, I only want, do one of two things today while you're here, because I don't really wanna talk about live events right now, right? So then I'm gonna delete this all the way to come there. So now there's only two things. And everything's public unless I tell it otherwise. And here's actually, okay, so the previous, the previous place where I showed you the tags was actually for your channel, I'm sorry. This is for the videos in particular. So upload defaults is where you put the keywords for your videos in particular. You follow me? I'm gonna save it really quick and then go back. So settings, your channel, you're, when you're on your channel, these are things that people are searching for that we'll find on your channel. So this is, so I would keep all of this in here, okay? So all the things I can help people do, like how to, how to, how to, how to, how to, are all in here, okay? Then the defaults of the, the actual videos uploads, that's what you put in this area for every video. So I, I don't do all those extra ones, like the author and the website and the this and that, because that would be a lot of work to undo all of that, actually. So I just add about five or six different ones each time I upload a video. So if I'm uploading a video about speaking, I will add about five or six different ones that have to do with speaking, okay? How to get started speaking, how to become a public speaker, how to da 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 okay. All right, and then permissions. You should be the only one here. If you're not, make sure it's your assistant. If not, you better figure out who's there. Uh, community. Um, I have never really looked here, to be honest. There's not a lot of stuff. Um, comments on your new videos. So you could, it says hold potentially inappropriate comments for review or hold all comments for review or you can disable comments. Now we want comments. But yeah, I don't want inappropriate comments, so I'm gonna hold those, and I get a notification anytime someone reviews my video, which I wish there was more of them, trust me, okay? Um, but there's not. Uh, so you would do that there. It's probably already set to that, I'm guessing, and you wouldn't have to worry about it. So I mean, there's not a lot else to set up. I could get deeper with subtitles. Um, let me just see if I covered a lot of things. Playlists, organization, look and feel. Let me go back out here. So <clears throat> if I'm in my channel and say I wanted to go to find one of my videos, okay, I'm just going to click this YouTube studio and I'm going to do a search. I'm going to go to videos, all videos. And I'm going to do a search for, say, um, 
what am I talking about? Speaking. Okay, so I'm gonna do it to, and it's gonna give me all the videos that have to do with speaking. Although there's gotta be more than that. Speaking gigs, fear speaking, speaking gigs. Okay, and so you can find things a little bit easier when you when you do that when you search across your channel. Number one. Uh, you can organize your playlist here. I'm just trying to make sure. I'm, oh, this is where you organize your playlists. Um, doo -doo -doo. So I have some that are public, some that are private. And I believe you could just edit them in here. So these ones are all unlisted because they're trainings. Mm, that's not where you sort them though. Let me see. Sometimes they change this up and I can't always tell you quickly. You can look at your analytics here. I don't spend too much time looking at analytics because it's depressing. <laughs> uh, and unless you get a lot of followers and you send a lot of traffic there on a regular basis, which I don't, then it's going to be depressing. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. You can look at your comments, I suppose, but you'll probably get notification uh, if someone comments on your video. And I would definitely make sure you reply, right? So you want to thumbs up them and you want to reply to their comments, right? So it's always good to reply. And if it's someone that you can find, then go, I mean, this guy's already a client of mine, but if you can find them and you could go to his about page and you find their website, guess what? I can go contact him if I thought he was really a prospect, okay? So this is where you have to dig deeper sometimes to find the leads, find the leads and people. Okay, so that's comments, subtitles. I don't think I have anything in there. Nope. Audio library. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Anything else that I'm missing here? You want to get people to subscribe to your channel. I mean, that's really the key. The things you want, if you're going to ask them, it's kind of like if you have a Facebook page, you say, go to my Facebook page, like my Facebook page, right? Well, that's really all they can do is they can like it. And uh, I suppose you can have them pin your Facebook page, but why would I pin your Facebook page? So I saw it more often. I'm not going to do that. But if you say, hey, subscribe to my channel, and while you're there, it, it, so if you're doing someone a favor and they're doing some you a favor, this is where it's good to reach out to somebody else or multiple people. Every, everybody you talk to, you could potentially do this. Hey, do you have a YouTube? I do too. Let's subscribe to each other's channels, watch a video, and comment. So the you, you will get more subscribers if you get people watching your video, but they have to watch it all the way through. They can't just go to a video and go, la, 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 oh, that was good. Fast forward, la, 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 okay, I'm not gonna listen, and I'm gonna go down here, and I'm going to make a public comment, da, 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 da. boom, I just watched their video and shared their comments. That's not helpful, no. You need people to watch your entire video all the way through and then comment on that video and then subscribe to your channel. Those are the three things you really want people to do if you're kind of helping each other out, right? So it's kind of a favor to ask people to do that. Now, I would not necessarily ask them to watch a 30 minute video. I would go find a short video of mine, like five or 10 minutes, and ask them to please watch that video, right? And or watch one that you want to be watched by other people. So I've had people that um, pick this one, like a lot of TED Talks, right? So if someone has a TED Talk on video, they want to get a ton. Oh, it's Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Anyways, this is an ad in front of him. Um, but TED Talks, he's got, uh, this one has 2 million views on it. So if you, which is why there's an ad on it, right? If you really want a specific video to be watched, like it leads to a free gift and it's a really juicy info about you, I would send uh, that link, that this link here, so take the share button, copy the link, 
and I would say, will you, sh will you please go watch this video? I really, or will you do me a favor? I really need more people to subscribe to my YouTube channel, watch one of my videos and comment on it. And I picked one that was like five minutes long. It's really easy. If you do this for me, I'll do this for you. Right. And then you give them the link, you have them watch it and have them comment and they can, all they'll do is they'll go here. The subscribe button is right there when, and they can comment right here. So it's one place they have to go. They go here, listen, subscribe and comment all in one fell swoop. You just have to tell people to do that thing. So that will help your subscribers and your reach and get in front of more people. And that's really the main marketing thing to do. And then we need an advanced class. <laughs> okay so that's kind of it um other questions uh, let's see any other questions i don't see anything in the chat that we haven't covered i um I, I was writing what you were saying beforehand so when you were talking about the advertising you check off that it's okay or not okay I would let them advertise, yes. So okay. don't check it, just leave it. Yeah, okay. there's a lot of things in that initial setup you don't even have to touch. It's already ready to go. Okay, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you mark that you don't want advertising anywhere near your video, then it will hardly get shown to anybody. So that's bad, yes. Because YouTube makes their money on advertising. Okay. Um, and the question was, uh, do you put intros and outros on your video? And I would say no, unless you are doing a show, like the Katrina Sawa show every Thursday at 3 p.m. You should come and listen, and we're going to talk about blah, 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 blah. Then I'm going to have an intro for that show and an outro for the show, probably. But I'm going to do it consistently every week. And you could do it as a YouTube show, as a live TV show that happens to be on YouTube. You could do it as a podcast where it's on video, you could interview people or do it yourself. There's a lot of different ways you can do videos. That's a whole different kind of training is like what to do on video. This is more of a YouTube tips and tricks kind of a, let's just make sure you do something on YouTube video. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm done. I think we're YouTubed out. Yes? All right, guys. Thanks for playing, thanks for showing up. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great